Hey guys, it's Sonia with Talking About Talking Speech Therapy and I'm just doing a quick little video to show you an update that I just made to my winter sequencing activity that I have posted on TPT currently. So I did update it and I included making a Valentine's Day card on there and it has the regular sheets just like my other activities do for making a snowman and making gingerbread cookies. I think making a turkey is on there and... Oh, there's one more I know there is, but I'm forgetting it. Uh, this is a little bit different than the other ones. It is the one where they get to sequence the pictures and then create their own story. It has different characters on here instead of just having the same little girl that I happen to name Carrie for my story. So then that might give them the ability to be a little bit more original or creative with their story when they do sequence those and make up their own story. And then um, the other difference that I have here is that there's the sheets where you can uh, cut out the pictures and on this one I included the pictures with the same little girl and then also with the different characters so that you can go ahead and pick which one they use for that on the four step sequencing. And then the five step sequencing is going to be very similar to my other ones where I have it with a person involved in the sequencing and then I also have it without a person so that gives you a little bit of flexibility to let you do what you want to do. Um, the color sheets I typically laminate and then I reuse them. This is the sequencing mat that goes with them. You can put Velcro on there if you'd like or not. I know that I'm not gonna lie, I probably don't get around to using the Velcro because that's extra time that I don't necessarily have. But please do because I know it's much neater if you do have time or you do like that, go ahead. Otherwise, don't. And then the bonus that I have on this one, which I was pretty excited about, is I included um, extra worksheets so that you could actually make a Valentine with your students, a Valentine's Day card with your students. So this sheet right here just explains what's included in the bonus section and how you can use it. Um, again, my directions are always just guidelines. If you guys have a different way that you want to use things, please do so. All right, so this is one of the printouts. It's just a little girl with a balloon and I have the lines on there. So you can just go ahead and you can take the card and you can fold it in half. I pre-folded that. <laughs> and then it's the same thing right here. This is that simple heart, which is what's in the sequencing activity. I had it already on the paper for our younger ones that maybe you don't want to give them scissors or you don't have time in your session for that. So all they have to do is color and then fold so they can make their Valentine's Day card. We have um, another little uh, boy holding a balloon that says, I love speech. This one's cute. It says, be mine. One of the things that I also did include, and this is optional, is a sheet. And you can take this and you can cut it, and then you have two of them so that you can use it. You know, you can give that to two different students, and um, your lines are going to be straighter. It's kind of hard for me to do it with one hand while I'm holding the phone. Um, and you can go ahead and glue that in there so that then they have a space to draw a picture and write in the lines for your younger ones. Or if you would like them to have it on both sides, you can just go ahead and glue that down so that they have it on both sides and they have their pictures and their, their lines so that they can write their note to whoever they'd like to write that to. So that's one option for making a Valentine's Day card. The other option is the original version that you sequenced in the um, sequencing activity. And so then for this one, you would have your sheet and you would just fold it on the line just like I did with my other one. And then right here for this one, I have the hearts and the hearts are um, segmented into four on a paper. And you would just run this off on red paper on the copy machine and then go ahead and cut the hearts out and then you can give each student a heart and then they can follow the exact steps from sequencing the story if you wanna go ahead and check um, as far as like a interactive retail, basically, while you're working on that, you could do that too. So that is my update to the winter sequencing packet and all of the fun stuff that I included on there. And I just wanted to make a little video letting you guys know about that. All right. Thanks so much. So the only thing that I forgot to mention is that this is a part of the Winter Mixed Language Bundle as well. So if you previously downloaded or purchased my Winter Mixed Language Bundle or purchased the sequencing packet, 
you can go to your Teachers Pay Teachers account and you can re-download it and you will get all of these extra activities that I've updated for the previous price that you purchased it at. So if you already purchased it, please don't feel like you're missing out. You have it, all you have to do is go back to your Teachers Pay Teachers account and you can download and then just print off the pages that you would like. And if you have not purchased it yet, you can get it in the sequencing packet alone, or you can get the Winter Mixed Language Bundle, which is full of a ton of goodies that can keep your students busy and going and good data collection and therapy for you. All right, thanks again, bye.